Hello, Mark. Let me see if I can help you on your um, excess uh, air being processed through the first barrel. Uh, obviously, the first barrel uh, is going to be open for your idle, uh, but in order to um, get to that point, uh, you want to um, back off on the mixed the uh, idle mixed idle screw, and then once you make contact with this lever you screw this in one and a half turns. I'm not going to do this one because it's already set and we already tested these carburetors. So you would back this out until the the screw is not touching the uh, throttle lever and make sure by pushing up on it like this with your thumb and then once it's touching uh, you would screw it in one and a half turns. That's your initial setting. Uh, now if, if you screw this all the way out to where the, the idle screw is not touching and um, you still have excess air or like uh, too much as if too much throttle is engaged then uh, we are going to check other areas now the other second area to, other area to check is this little screw right here which actuates your choke uh, which is part of the choke here here we're actuating the choke and it's act it's moving that lever and that lever in turn comes up and moves your throttle. So when you're actuating the choke, you're, you're actually moving your throttle lever and opening up your butterfly. Now what can happen is if this screw is too tight, it's already artificially opening up. If the screw's too tight, it's going to jack this up to where your, your butterfly is already open. So what you want to do is when everything is set correctly, you should be able to actuate. See if I let me set the camera down so I can do this with two hands. All right, holding this steady, and what you should be able to do is start to actuate the choke before it moves the throttle. And then if I push real hard, now we're moving everything. This gap right in here, the factory set says is 15 thousandths. Another possibility is if uh, these screws right here between the two butterflies, if this screw is in too far and pushing this, this butterfly is closed, and if this screw is pushed in too far, it's going to start moving your butterfly away. So it's going to open up the number one butter, butterfly. So what you want to make sure is that you have gap here, and uh, what you have your first barrel closed and put this down again okay so you have your first barrel closed and then you want to make sure there's a little bit of movement see right here a little bit of movement now if if you had a problem where you have excess air leakage right here you could theoretically screw this down to where it just touches and puts a little pressure on this butterfly to close it but you have to be very careful that you don't start pushing against this lever, uh, this pin right here, and screwing this out so it's artificially opening up your throttle. And all of these are interrelated to your idle mixture screw. So you make adjustment here, it can affect here, and it can affect here. Um, those are the... That's what I can tell you right now. Um, so hopefully that will help you a little bit in terms of... Um, finding the, the source of the problem. Um, if everything is, uh, everything is, if this is completely closed, butterfly is completely closed, and this is not touching, and that's not touching, um, you probably should not have any air going through here and shouldn't have an idle. So, um, see what you get, figure out what you got, and then uh, report back to me by email, okay?